Uh, and this is a law professor from Berkeley in California, University of California, Berkeley. Her name is Kiara Bridges, and she was actually testifying in Congress and was questioned by Senator Josh Hawley at one point. Now, you might imagine some, Senator Hawley is tough. I, I like him. He's, he's really tough. He's very smart. He's very sharp. He's quick on his feet. He, uh, he was the attorney general of his state. He could have been and probably was a great trial lawyer, I think, based on his uh, ability to uh, question people and uh, deliver an argument as well. So very interesting exchange they had, though, and I kind of wanted to share this with the viewers. Now, for me, I think kind of at the base level, you want to just kind of listen to this woman's tone. The way that she speaks. I mean, remember, we're talking about a United States senator. Uh, he's not impolite to her. At least that's my belief on the way that I interpret their conversation. But I want you to listen to her tone. She's extremely disrespectful of him. She talks over him. I think you might recognize a pattern. It's a pattern that I see when you deal with uh, liberals, uh, the woke mob. I mean, because it's not even really fair to call these people exactly liberals because liberals used to mean something that was at least not this crazy, right? Liberals, you could at least talk to liberals. I remember talking to people that call themselves liberals. I actually liked them, you know? I mean, we didn't agree on everything politically, but I could get along but with them. But they would agree to disagree back in the day. We could agree to disagree. Now these people are like hitting you over the head with their purse or smashing a pie in your face, or they got to do something to you. If you don't agree with them, it's such an affront to their dignity that they've got to attack you. And that's exactly what this lady does. Um, and so now... I, I, she's going to use a term. I don't know if all of you know this term, so I just want to explain it before she uses it so it doesn't get lost on you. She's going to refer to people as cis, like like you would think that's S-I-S, but it's C-I-S. And that means uh, people who are not transgendered. So people who are not transgendered now have to have, instead of just being, you know, that's a man and that's a woman, now we have to refer to them as that's a cis man and that's a cis woman. So they, you know, they have to be made to be something else so that when you say, oh, well, that's a trans man and that's a trans woman, the trans people don't feel bad because other people have a name too. They're cis. So that's the word she uses, cis, when referring to some things. Now, you got to listen to her argument about violence and, and everything else. We'll, we'll do a little analysis on it uh, when we close this. But just listen to this exchange. I mean, this lady's absolutely... Uh, in my opinion, a little bit off her rocker, and that really comes through in the way that she speaks to a United States senator. And don't forget, this is the woman who's educating future lawyers, educating people who are you know, just up into adulthood and have just come through four years of college indoctrination by woke liberals. Now they're getting three more years of law school indoctrination by woke liberals. And it's no wonder the way some of these folks come out. But listen to this exchange in the United States Senate. Uh, Professor Bridges, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important Because of my line of questioning? Because so we can't talk about it? Because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist I'm is denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking Are you? you if you're talking Are you? about women Are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that uh, men can get pregnant? 
No, I don't think. Women can get <laughs> so you are pregnant. denying that trans people like this? Thing. And that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you, Absolutely. or are they also treated like this? Where no, you, no, no, they're, they're told that to they're at opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time questioning. in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned a you, lot just in this exchange. Absolutely extraordinary. Yep. Um, I mean, can- exactly, exactly. It's Looney Tunes. I mean, but can you imagine the way this lady is? I mean, she has no respect for the office of a United States senator. She's talking over. She's she's talking to him like he's stupid. She's laughing at. Him. I mean, so condescending. These people are amazing. Meanwhile. She's got rotten brain. I mean, this lady's insane, right? She is, I mean, I'm just saying I don't agree with her. I'm 100% don't agree with her. I think objectively she's off a rocker. You know, she. this is more of this stuff, just like we saw in questioning the future and now current Supreme Court justice about, you know, defining a woman. Is it only women that can get pregnant? And these people will not answer the questions. They will resist to the end because it's part of this woke ideology that it's it's become like a religion to them. It's become like a religion. It's an article of faith. And if you don't agree with them, then you must be stupid. You must be condescended to. And ultimately, in their world, you must be destroyed I think it's a real shame. I like Senator Hawley's question. Can't we? Uh, you can't even answer questions about this. I mean, just by asking a question now, she's accusing him of violence. By the way, did you catch that too? I love this because you're going to hear this as you do hear this everywhere. If you don't agree with what I say, if you don't verbalize acceptance of what I say, you're causing violence, right now. So now. If they don't like what you say, that's violence. Now, if some Antifa guy comes and whacks you in the head with a with a a steel baton, then they want to say that's free speech. That's speech all of a sudden. So actual political violence from the left is now called speech, whereas actual political speech from the right is now called violence. I mean, it's just crazy. It's this upside down world where they've changed the language. They're trying to control language is the currency of thought. They're trying to control how you think by controlling what you're allowed to say. This is all part of it. And uh, but I wanted you to catch the fact that the violence she's talking about is self-violence. That's the violence that they're talking about. It's not that people are going to go beat the trans person up. It's that the trans person, if you don't embrace whatever their thought is about their personhood, If you don't agree with it, not just agree with it, but affirm it, then they might cause violence to themselves. Well, guess what? That's an easy one to stop, right? That's easy violence to stop. Suicide is the easiest violence to prevent, right? Just don't do it. Now, listen, I understand suicide's a complicated issue. People, I, I totally get it that there's a lot of reasons that goes into that. But my point is just this is not political violence by one side against another. This is violence that comes from inside of somebody's head It's a concept, and they're doing it to themselves because of the feelings and thoughts in their own head. This is not something that one person is doing to another person. It's something a person is doing to themselves. But we can't acknowledge that. We can't talk about it. Uh, You know, people will come for you. The woke mob will come for you if you try, just like they have come for Josh Hawley before, and I'm sure will come for him again just like they've come for sitting Supreme Court justices and protested outside of their homes, things we've never really seen before in this country, the levels of uh, intimidation and political violence coming from the left, uh, but they want to lecture us about violence. They want to lecture us about being violent towards people when it's actually them that are violent. Thank you for listening to The Morgan Streetman Show. We hope you enjoyed what you heard, and if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.